Hi, and welcome to this media text revision video which looks at the difference between fact and opinion, how to identify them, and what to say if you're asked about them in the exam. So, what might a question look like, and what will it ask for? Well, recent exam questions have asked candidates to identify and quote one fact and one opinion from a specific text. The question has also required you to explain the choices you make. This part of the question is only worth a small number of the overall marks, so you should spend a maximum of 5 to 10 minutes writing about fact and opinion. So what is a fact? A fact is a true event or something that actually exists and is real. The crucial thing is that a fact can be proven to be true through evidence. We can therefore think of factual information as being certain and definite. You therefore need to look for language which shows this certainty. An example of a fact is, this podcast was uploaded to YouTube in April 2011. This can be checked, it has a date to prove it's true, and I would have little reason to lie about it. By contrast, an opinion is something that people believe or think. It is someone's attitude or viewpoint. These cannot be easily proven as true and may not necessarily be correct. For example, if I told you that scientists believe there is complex life on other planets, there is nothing in this statement that actually makes it a certainty. It is only scientists' opinions. The word believe shows that they only think it's possible. They haven't actually proven it yet. Let's apply this to the media text and look at fact and opinion in Junk Food Dummies on page 9. In paragraph 5, Brooke writes about the findings of the research team. Because the information is scientific and refers to percentages, we assume that it's factual. For example, rats eating the high-fat diet were less able to use oxygen. For the exam, we need to look at the language Brooks uses to confirm that this is a fact. In this statement, the word were indicates certainty. It tells us that this was the case and that there is no doubt about it. This certainty in his language, combined with the fact that this is drawn from scientific research, means that we can safely assume that it's factual and not merely the writer's opinions. But not all of this article is factual. An example of an opinion from paragraph 3 is, eating junk food like burgers may make you less intelligent. Again, if we look closely at the writer's language, we can easily identify this as an opinion and not a fact. Brooks says that burgers may make you less intelligent. Here the verb may shows that it might make you less intelligent, or that it is possible that it may make you less intelligent, not that it will for certain. If something may happen, it does not mean that it will. It is what the researchers think might happen. There is no actual scientific proof given here to back up the effect of junk food on people, and along with the uncertainty in Brooks' use of language, this tells us that it's not factual information, as instead one of his opinions from the article. Let's summarise by confirming what you should write about. First, keep your answer very brief. Spend just a few minutes on this part of your answer. Write concisely. Simply quote the fact and explain why it's a fact. Then quote the opinion and explain why it's an opinion. It's as simple as that. There is no need to write anything more or start comparing different parts of the text. Remember that a fact is something real that can be proven by statistics. It is unbiased. Look for keywords like is, was, were, proves. An opinion is what the writer or someone else thinks and cannot be easily proven. There will be no evidence of truth and the statement may be biased or sarcastic. Look for keywords such as might, could, believe or think. Therefore, one effective way to identify fact and opinion in the media articles is to look for words which show certainty for fact or doubt for opinions. We'll finish by looking at an example question and an exemplar answer. Question. Find one fact and one opinion from junk food dummies. Explain why you've chosen your examples. Answer. An example of a fact is rats eating the high-fat diet were less able to use oxygen in paragraph 5. This is a fact because the word were conveys certainty and it's based on scientific research which can be proven. An example of an opinion is eating junk food like burgers may make you less intelligent in paragraph 3. This is an opinion because there's no conclusive evidence to back it up and the writer uses the word may which implies doubt. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the Porter's School YouTube channel for more videos on the media text and commentaries on all eight poems from other cultures. The best of luck in your exams.